Today, I wanna to show you how you can take images and turn them into coloring pages that you can use to create a coloring book for Amazon KDP. But before we get into it, if you are new here, I'm Latoya Nicole. I help women just like you get to the self-publishing bag. So if that sounds like something you like, then make sure you go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is simple, and best of all, it's free. So we're gonna be using ChatGPT's AI and they do have a free plan. Now, as a disclaimer, I do wanna let you know that the free plan has a limited number of images that you could create per day. If you ever wanna go over that limit of images, then the paid plan is the $20 a month plan and that is currently the plan that I use. Whatever you decide to choose, you could get started right now, even as a beginner, and start creating your own coloring book that you can sell on Amazon KDP and even off Amazon KDP. Cause I want you to put your creative brains on and think of things like selling on your own website, selling coloring pages on Etsy. What about if your child has a birthday party and when their friends come over, you want the friends to have a coloring page to color. So maybe the coloring page that you're gonna use is a coloring page of your actual child. How cool would that be? So we're gonna head over to ChatGPT where I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you could get started creating images just like that. All right, so I'm gonna use the prompt, create an airbrush oil painting, alcohol ink image of an African-American young woman, braided hair, eight months pregnant, sitting down, wearing a dress, her hands holding her belly. She's smiling and looking at her belly and she's sitting on a fluffy white couch with turquoise pillows. She's wearing a turquoise blouse, a long floy skirt, sneakers, and she has an iced coffee beside her. All right, so let's see what this image generates. All right, so that generated this image. That is cute, I like the way that looks. So think of like, you were gonna be publishing a coloring book and you already had the idea of what type of image you wanted to, to create. And so after ChatGPT gives you this image, then perhaps you may wanna use this image as your cover image or something like that. But inside of your book, you also want to have a similar style image for people to color. That's one of the benefits of what I'm getting ready to show you now, because you can turn an image just like this into an actual coloring page by using a prompt something like, make this into a simple and easy coloring page. And so when I type that into ChatGPT, the image that it created for me was this image. So we went from this image here to this image here. To me, it turned out great. Now I did go back in and say, can you add a wedding ring to her finger? And so this is the new update from that request. Now, some people might not like how the image actually cuts off on the side, but for things like this, you can actually add a frame around your image and I'll show you how to do that really quick as well. But one thing I wanted to also add about when you're generating images, especially if you plan to create an image for Amazon KDP, you want to make sure the image is the highest quality. Because sometimes when you go to print the image or if you're using um, Amazon KDP, then when Amazon prints the book, the image might not be as crisp as you like. So to make sure the images are crisp and a good quality, because this is very important, especially for KDP customers, then you'll wanna use a tool like upscale.org they do have a free trial where you can try it out for your images as well. So I did want to just mention that, but if you're just using this for your own coloring page, just for some fun or creativity, and you wanna just print it out to see what the quality looks like before upscaling it, then you can always just do that. If you think the quality is too fuzzy or something, then you can always go back and use that upscale tool. But on Amazon KDP, you do want to always make sure you have the best quality image. So that's why I wanted to let you know about that tool. Now, what I was saying about the edges, if we wanted to try and fix those, then that's when I use Canva. Y'all already know I use Canva for almost everything. It has to do with design. But I'm just gonna give you an example of how I would use it in this particular situation. So I would come to custom size and change this to inches. And um, for my coloring books, I usually use eight and a half by 11 inches. And then I'll go to create new design. And so once I have my image saved by clicking on this download button, then I would just come and upload that file and bring it into my document. And then I will come here and click on border style. And then I would just up the weight a little bit to add a border around the image just to kind of match 
um, the thickness of the lines that's already in the image. And then you see how it actually closes those gaps on the edge of the image and gives you a border to the image. So that's just a little quick fix that you can use to make sure the edges of the images are closed off if that's something that bothers you or if you think that would be something that will bother your, um, your, your customers that you are wanting to sell to. So now let's come back to ChatGPT and take a look at another image. And for this image, I am going to be generating an image of a dog. Y'all already know I have a sheep who named Chloe that I love. So I wanna just see what it would look like if I wanted to create a similar style colored picture and then turn that colored picture into a coloring image. So let's see what image it gives me from using this prompt right here. What a cutie pie, that is super cute. Now let's see what happens when I say, turn this image into a simple and easy coloring page. All right, and so we went from this to this. Pretty neat, pretty neat. But Facebook actually showed me a post from seven years ago of my little doggy. Now it's a little unclear, so I don't know how well this is gonna work, but let's just try it and see. If I were to save this image and I wanted to use the exact image of my dog, by adding this photo and saying, create me a bold and easy coloring page of this image. Let's see if this image is clear enough for it to create an actual coloring page of the image of my doggy. ChatGPT said, stop playing with me. Now she does look a little sad, but y'all get the gist. You can actually upload a photo that you have and ask ChatGPT to make it into a coloring page. Oh, the doggy looks so sad, but my doggy is so happy. So cute. you. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to generate an image of me. You do not have to use these images for just KDP, but if you are actually trying to publish these images, when you are using the images, you wanna make sure you have the rights to these images. So don't just go take an image off the internet and say, can you create a coloring page of this image? If you don't have the rights to it, or if you're not using a program that offers you the rights to the image, then do not do that. If you wanna create a coloring page with your own photo, then you know you have the right to do that. I'm just simply saying, don't just pick random photos and create images off of if you don't have the rights to use those photos. But let me go ahead and show you um, what ChatGBT is gonna do with my image. Well, I'm gonna take this image of me and I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, can you turn me into a bold and easy coloring page? And so this is the image that it gave me. I think that is pretty good. That is really, really neat actually. So we went from here to there. Okay, ChatGPT, you did a little something. Now I did have a little issue with the necklace around my neck. So I asked it to um, just put the words blessed instead of my name on the necklace and it was able to do that pretty well. So you can always just make adjustments as necessary. Okay, so that is my chat GPT tutorial of how to turn images into KDP coloring pages fast. I hope this video was helpful. And again, if you like this type of content, make sure you go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, even share the video with somebody and leave a comment below letting me know how you'll be using your coloring pages. Until next time, bye-bye.